okay do you know the divisibility rule for 7 come let us learn with an example let us check 3675 is divisible by 7 or not step 1 multiply the last digit of 3675 that is 5 with 2 now the product becomes 5 into 2 which is 10 now subtract this 10 from the rest of the number actually the number is 3675 so the rest of the number after removing 5 is 367 so 367 minus 10 gives 357 now we don't know that this 357 is divisible by 7 or not so let us go to the first step again with the 357 now multiply the last digit of 357 that is 7 with 2 now the product becomes 7 into 2 that is 14 coming to the next step subtract this 14 from the rest of the number that is other than 7 the remaining number is 35 so multi subtract from 35 minus 14 which gives you 21 now coming to the last step we know that this 21 is exactly divisible by 7 so we can conclude that our number 3675 is exactly divisible by 7 so let us check with another example in a simple and fast way is 6041 divisible by 7 let us take the last digit of it that is 1 and multiply with 2 now subtract this 2 with from 604 which gives you 602 but we don't know this 602 is divisible by 7 or not so let us repeat the process again with the number 602 so again let us take the first last digit of this which is 2 and multiply with 2 that is 2 multiplied by 2 which is 4 now subtract this 4 again from 60 the rest of the number so which we get as 56 60 minus 4 which is 56 now let us see this 56 is a multiple of 7 or not yeah we know that this 56 after subtracting 4 from 60 which is a exactly divisible by 7 so we can conclude now that 6041 is exactly divisible by 7 you also check with any other number